Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Dress Gaming and today we are back with singles battles. Now, uh, we are playing against Youngster Joey X, my good friend and my boy, my amigo. Um, and we are going to be using the Mega Gyarados, Shiny Mega Gyarados team to uh, celebrate the release of Breakpoint in the TCG as well as the Shiny Gyarados box in the G C TCG. Now, Joey had us featured on one of his series called I'm Not Wi-Fi Ready, so be sure to go check that out. Link will be in the description below, and uh, we're going we're gonna to hook up some, some poppin' music here. Hopefully something poppin'. And we're going to start this battle. If you guys did not see the team builder for this team, it did go up a couple days ago. Link will be in the description for that, so be sure to go check it out. And Joey is going to be bringing his beloved Charizard his Starmie, a Thunderous Incarnate, Superior, Tyranitar, and Metagross. So we're both going to be bringing the Superior. I'm, of course, bringing Gliscor, Heatran, um, Kiram Black, Superior, Shiny Mega Gyarados, and Sylveon. So I'm going to lead with my Heatran here. We did actually just try battling, and then it just dropped us for some reason, so... I don't know what happened there, so I didn't say anything about keeping the same lead, so he'll possibly change his lead. I'm changing mine. Last time I started with clear and black, it was just the best lead. It hit everything for super effective damage. But we're going to go with Heatran this time, hopefully get those stealth rocks up. So let's see what he leads with. If he leads Starmie, though, again. If he leads Starmie, though, again, he'll be in a better position. He's going to lead with the Thunderous this time, though. Alright, well I'm going to try and set up my Stealth Rocks. Because that's going to be a big thing for this game with that Charizard. Also this Thunderous. He's going to go for Discharge. Alright, I see you playing for those Paras. And he gets it! <laughs> um, let's see. And I stay paralyzed this turn too. I see you, Joey. I see you. I see you. Well, I'm going to try and Stealth Rock again. Because Stealth Rock is what I need. He's going to discharge again. That's fine. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm just going to sit here and stealth rock until the end of, end of the day, so... Until I get him up. He's just going to continuously discharge, though. Alright, we finally get our stealth rocks up. Cool. I'm going to get what leftovers recover we can here. And then I'm going to bring in my Gliscor. Because I'm tired of this discharge nonsense. He says, LOL. Joey, don't you test me, boy. Alright, so I'm going to bring in Gliscor. And you can't discharge me, so there you go. I get my Poison Heal. Now, he could have Hidden Power Ice, which will be bad. So I'm going to protect to see if he has it. I need to protect to see if he has it. He could just switch here, which I thought about going for a substitute, get up a free sub, and then be able to Earthquake, whatever. Nope, I'm going to protect. So if he goes for Hidden Power Ice here. Dark Pulse. So you're just trying to hax everything. Alright, I see you. Well, I should be slower than it. I'm going to go for Toxic. He's going to withdraw. Okay. So we're going to get a top... Well, unless he brings in the Metagross. He's going to bring in the Charizard. So Charizard's going to take them rocks. Bring them down to 50%. And then I get a Toxic up on him too. So that's going to be real nice. Alright, alright, alright. So I'm going to do what Gliscor does best. Protect. I want to see what move he's going to try and use on my Gliscor. If he goes for Fire Blast, we can just bring in the Heatran. If he goes for anything else, we will plan accordingly, I guess. There's the Drought. There's the Drought. I get my Protect off. And he goes for Fire Blast. Alright, so I do have a slight advantage knowing what other moves this Charizard carries, just because we just battled. Um, and he used that Charizard in that part of the battle. So he has Fire Blast, Solar Beam, Dragon Pulse. I don't know what the last move is, though. 
So I'm going to bring in Heatran because Heatran either is neutral or is immune or it resists all those. And he goes for the Solar Beam, which we resist by four. So we could have stayed in with Gliscor there. But Heatran's better. We get some leftovers recovery as well, which is really nice. So here, he has a few options. He could bring in the Starmie or the Tyranitar. So I'm going to go for Sub. He's going to Roost, so he has Roost on this Charizard. Okay, I see you, big doggy. That's going to bring him up past 50. I get paralyzed again. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> that sub would have been so perfect there, too. But he's going to get some more poison damage. Which is going to bring him down past 50 again. That toxic stacking up. So he like he can't switch out this Charizard or it dies when it comes back in. He's going to go for Dragon Pulse, though. I resist that. So Heatran is the absolute counter to this Charizard. Unless I get paralyzed every turn. Heatran. Heatran, Heatran, Heatran. But, I mean, he dies a Toxic this turn if he if he uh, doesn't Roost. And even so, he's going to Dragon Pulse, so this Charizard is just going to fall. He's going to keep the pressure on with Dragon Pulse. I get the sub off, and brings me to 3 HP. Oh boy. The sunlight fades just in time for him, too. So Charizard's going to faint a Toxic here, so I'm going to cross out Charizard. Charizard. Get the Charizard out of here. So that was a big threat to the team. And especially with that sun, because that's going to lower Gyarados's, uh, uh waterfalls. So if I can get rid of... Oh, Thunderous Answer Pure, big problem for Gyarados, too. God, Gyarados just doesn't like this matchup. If I can get rid of Thunderous and Superior, though, we'll be looking pretty. So Tyranitar is going to come in here and set up the Sandstream. Alright. Well, I'm just going to try and get a Flash Cannon off. Please, Heatran, don't get paralyzed again. Please. Alright. So he's just going to go for a straight Earthquake with this Tyranitar. He's just going to go for a straight Earthquake. Sub's going to break on the Heatran. And I get a Flash Cannon off. It's going to do nice damage to this Tyranitar. But not take it out, obviously. It's really annoying. My phone, like, last time I used my phone for this, it stayed on the entire time. And now it just keeps turning off, so. He's going to go for Crunch here, though. I'm not going to bring anything else in. Heatran's done when it needs to. Charizard's gone. Everything's good. So now, actually, I kind of want to bring in my Gyarados here and start sending up. Oh, I do, I do, I do. But I could bring in Sylveon in Hyper Voice pretty freely too, so I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring in the Sylvie. Though Sylveon does have Hidden Power Ground. And I could set up Comine, but Metagross will just destroy it if it comes in. I'm going to Hyper Voice. He's just going to go straight for an Earthquake, which is going to hurt. Owie. Brings me down to about 50. I get a Hyper Voice off. And he's he's eating those. So I believe this Tyranitar is Assault Vest, because it's, it's taking those pretty well. I think we'll live another Earthquake. And I don't know that we really need Sylveon for anything else. So I'm going to go for another Hyper Voice. He might not also want his Tyranitar to go down yet, so he could bring in the Metagross here. He's going to he's gonna let it go down if I am able to survive this Earthquake. Yeah, squeaking out. Alright, so Sylveon takes out Tyranitar. Gyarados might not get to do anything. Because <laughs> really, Gyarados can only go up against the Starmie and the uh, Metagross here. Oh, I live. So it's not looking pretty for Gyarados. I mean, and it can barely go up against that Starmie. We do have Crunch. He's going to bring in the Starmie, too. He's 
gonna bring it in to um, I'm just gonna go for hyper voice. It's probably gonna outspeed and kill. Yep, it's gonna go for scald. Knock me out. So Sylveon's down, so it is 4-4 four, four right now. Pretty close match, my boy. Sandstorm's gonna subside. Starmie has leftovers. Okay. So, again, we've battled him before, so I've seen Psychic and Scald. Does it have Thunderbolt? I don't know, but I can scare him out with this with this Kyurem, because he knows that this Kyurem just destroys it, because that's how I killed it last time. I used a uh, Bolt Strike, or whatever it's called, Fusion Bolt. So I'm actually going to Ice Beam, expecting the switch. He's going to stay in the Scald. Okay. I'll see you, Joey. Going for that burn. And he gets it! <laughs> uh, I'm going to just go for Ice Beam. Which does a lot of damage to this army, surprisingly. Surprisingly, that does a lot of damage. That does a lot of damage. So I'm going to get hurt by burn. This time, I'm just going to go for the Earth Power. You can go for Psychic. Unfortunately, my early or my uh, previous game predicts I uh, kind of screwed over Kirim this time. Unfortunately, sorry Kirim. I'm telling you, Kirim did a lot last game. It did a lot last game. But now it's just gonna get bodied because there's really nothing else it can it can do. So I'm just gonna fusion bolt. He's gonna recover, so he's gonna let me get a fusion bolt off. I mean, it won't kill because I'm burned, but it's going to do a nice amount. Oh my god, it still does a lot. For being burned, that still does a lot. Nice job. Kiram, you're just so strong. You just got so much strength. I think he has to scald me now. Because I think a few, uh, another fusion bowl will take him out if he recovers. He's going to recover. I think that still takes him out. Kira might still be able to do something here. Oh, uh, maybe not. I don't know. He was... I think he was a little closer to full last time. Come on, Kira. Takes him out. Cool. Kira still got to do what he needed to. He just didn't stay around much longer after. Bye, Kira. Alright, so he's got Thunder Superior Metagross, and I've got Gyarados Superior... Gl Gliscor. Gly Gliscor. Gliscor. I'm gonna go into Superior. I think it's time to start setting up Superior. He's gonna bring in his Thunderous. Which is... Was that this game or last game? Yeah, it was this game. <laughs> Where we saw he didn't have Hidden Power... Ice. So I have Hidden Power... Fire. On my Superior. So I'm just gonna Leaf Storm. I'm just gonna get that leaf storm going. I'm just gonna get that leaf storm going. Here we go. Does a nice amount of damage. And we get our special attack boost. He probably goes for discharge. He went for oh, he has sludge bomb. Uh oh. Owie. That almost killed me. Don't poison me, thank you. Uh we have to dragon pulse here. Hopefully take it out. Oh boy, this is a very offensive Thunderous, which I should know because I use Thunderous quite often, but I use more of a bulky Thunderous typically and one with Taunt and Thunder Wave. He's going to withdraw though, who's he going to go into? The Metagross? Orochimaru, which is his superior, trying to eat up another Leaf Storm, but I went for Dragon Pulse this turn, so this is going to hurt. Ooh, that does damage. And I knock myself out. Ooh, I knock myself out. Unfortunately, this leaves us with Gliscor and Gyarados. So I have to go with Gliscor and then hope Gyarados can kind of win out the rest of the game here. Oh boy. Oh boy. So I'm going to Toxic because I really can't do anything else. It's going to Protect, though. Protect Superior, huh? I see you, big dog. He doesn't have leftovers. It must have Leech Seed. I'm gonna Toxic again. He might bring in the Metagross. No, he goes for Giga Drain. Ow. 
Oh my god, that does so much. That does so much. He does have Life Orb as well, so I'm going to get this Toxic up. Oh boy, it's not looking good for us. The Superior. If, I if my Heatran would have been paralyzed so many times, we might still have Heatran for this, but... But, what are you going to do? So now Glyscore just kind of has to sit here, and sit here and protect. Though, I could bring in my Gyarados on this thing. He's going to Giga Drain again. Yeah, because Gyarados is neutral. I mean, so is Glyscor, and Glyscor still took so much damage. Alright, let's look at my Pokemon. Let's go summary. Glyscor has 95 special defense, while Gyarados has 120. Oh, Gyarados is going to be able to eat that so much better. Spring Gyarados. It's time, Gyarados. It's time. It's time, Gyarados. Yeah, you saved a superior for the perfect time here. It's not contrary. Oh god, that still does so much damage. That did 90 damage. Oh god. Superior is such a problem. I think unfortunately we have to let our Gyarados go down. I'm gonna Mega Evolve and Crunch. But we're not gonna outspeed is the problem. We're not gonna outspeed is the problem. Get that Mold Breaker going, yeah he's gonna outspeed and now we don't resist so that's definitely gonna kill. I mean it, w it was gonna kill anyway because it did 90. Gyarados, you did nothing. There's Life Orb. Here comes Toxic. Alright, so t we should be able to... Toxic should be able to kill this thing. I'll bring in my Glyscore. I'll protect. Get some poison recovery. Yes, he stays in. I needed him to stay in there to be able to kill this thing. He's gonna go for Giga Drain. And that should get him. Yes, perfect. Alright, so Glyscore now just has to deal with a Thunderous and a Metagross. And Thunderous, we have to Poison Heal stall. It's not looking good. That's for Shizzle. That is for Shizzle. I see Thunderous coming in here. There it is. Ooh, that's a nice Stealth Rock, though. So I'm going to go for Toxic. We should survive one hit from this thing. So I'm going to go for Dark Pulse. Ow. Just don't flinch me, please. Get the Toxic off. Then it's all up to what this Metagross has. It's all up to what this Metagross has. I'm going to Protect. I mean, Glyscore doesn't resist steel as the problem. I thought ground resists steel for the longest time, but apparently does not. And does Toxic take out? It doesn't take out the Thunderous. Why don't you get taken out? Um, I'm gonna try and sub here. You can go for that Dark Pulse. It's gonna hurt. Owie. And I get the sub up. So we will have a. F Couple free turns against this Metagross, which is nice. Because that Thunderous will go down there. Okay, so Superior became a lot more of a problem than I initially thought it would. And Gyarados uh, became a lot more of a uh, piece of poop than I thought it would. Alright, so in comes Metagross. 
Also, Thunder is the Sludge Bomb was pretty nice. So I'm going to protect here, because I have to, to get some recovery. We'll see what this Metagross is carrying, though. Because I've only seen Stealth Rock from this thing, and that was the last game. Iron Head. Respectable. It's Leftovers Metagross, which is going to make this even harder. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Alright, let's Earthquake. We are faster, too, which is nice. Ooh, Earthquake does damage, unless it's a crit. It's not. Nice. We should just be able to Earthquake him again. Sub's gonna fade. Leftovers. Doesn't bring him above 50. We can get some Poison Heal. Bullet Punch, I don't think would kill me. I'm gonna Earthquake here. He's got Bullet Punch. Let's see how, how much it does. Yeah, we live in those. Goliath score, my boy. <laughs> okay, Goliath score is put on this team like last second. <laughs> um, if you guys saw the team builder, I wasn't really sure if I wanted Goliath score or not. And Goliath score won it for us, so that was a really close game. The Superior and the Thunderous, just such a threat. But anyway, guys, be sure to go tell Joey GG because that was a very good game. And be sure to check out his series, I'm Not Wi-Fi Ready, because apparently he is. That, that, that was scary. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Be sure to check out all the links in the description below, and we'll see you next time. Stay sharp, everyone. Hello, everyone, and thanks for checking out the video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to click on the links on the screen. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos as they come to your way. And if you want to go check out the GoFundMe, that'd be great, too. Bye!